So there's our cabana. Uh, this little side roof, the drop roof on it, is uh, actually fiberglass. The wind blew that up, pulled that nail. And I want to replace all that fiberglass. And uh, a friend of ours, Joshua, has some uh, scaffolding. I'm going to borrow to do that. <clears throat> This ramp has gravel on it because it is very slippery when it's been raining. The least bit icy, it's extremely sli slippery. There's Tom Kitten hiding in the plastic. There's our cows, all happy, mooing out there. Donkeys and Bob the sheep. So let's take a look in our cabana. So you have a wood stove in here and that wood stove when it's gone will chase you out. Very, very comfortable. It's got a bed up there, which is a queen size bed. It's got its own solar system. There's me in the mirror. Thomas fabricated this nice hardwood ladder made out of Pellin and Laurel. Uh, it's really strong and sturdy to get up there. It's more like a stair. And then Here's our bathroom, which is a wet bathroom. So you can get the walls wet and the floor wet and the toilet wet and spray everything down. Everything but the outlet's probably not a good idea. So the cabana has several sources of power. It's got its own solar system, which is a small solar system. Uh, it's a 24 volt system. With its own inverter, I got the midnight charge controller and all the midnight electric combiner boxes, DC breakers. It's a pretty good little system. The weak link on it is uh, the panels are only like 225, 225 watts. And the batteries uh, are not very good. They're old. So if I have problems with this solar system, I'm able to connect it directly to the big house solar system which will feed this and it just bypass all this and can sit and rest charge up so uh, I normally let's see I normally keep it off and nobody's over here and just so that uh, all the batteries charge up nobody's using it so Another door that I made. I have a video where I made this door years ago. And, uh, yeah, nice. So it's just a little cabana, but, um, yeah, it's ours. It works. Yeah. Five of us lived in this cabana for about a year while we built the big house. So there's the mud pie of a par of farm right now. Everything is just so muddy. Yeah, because of the rain. Lori and I have been discussing about the cabana and, and, and how we handle uh, rentaling the cabana and people using it and whatnot. And this is, really is Lori's world as far as the, she's in charge of the cabana. Um, you got to have a division of, of labor and this is hers and she likes this and she maintains it and rents it. And um, what we've decided to do because we've got so many of our members from our Chili Expat family group coming down that want to rent our cabana that it it becomes a little problematic and um, uh, structuring that and and, and uh, reserving it for people that are not members of our group so what we've decided to do is uh, we're now only going to rent our cabana to members of our Chili Expat family group for the most part they'll be Obviously, there'll, there'll probably be some exceptions. We do have family come, and we do have workways come too as well. So um, the thing is, is that the members of our group are so very kind to us and very supportive of everything that we do that uh, they have first priority in everything. Well, what does that mean? Well, they get to see videos before you guys get to see videos. They actually to get to see um real estate sales videos which you guys don't get to see properties available for sale and properties available for rent in chile you guys don't get to see that uh 
Why not? Well, because they pay for it. Pretty simple. Uh, and you have to be supportive of those people that are supportive of you. And Lori and I really firmly believe that. And for us, our group is almost like family in many regards. And when they come here, they get priorities. Uh, so some of you ask, okay, well, that's simple enough. I'll join the Chili Expat family group. That's a possibility. And the process basically for that is uh, you need to send me in an email your contact information or else you need to contact me within uh, Telegram. You have to have Telegram. I am at Jim Dorchak, J-I-M-D-O-R-C-H-A-K, in Telegram if you want to contact me there. Uh, if you want to send me an email, you can send it to uh, Chili Expat Family at gmail.com with your phone number, we're gonna to have to go through a process and it's, it's nothing really big. Basically, I have a, a discussion, an interview with you and you um, tell me about who you are and why you're interested in Chile. And I tell you a little bit about my philosophies about how to get, how I got here, our family. And uh, if you're right for the group, then I'll let you into the group. Yes, there is a cost. There's a hundred dollars to join our Chile Expat family group now. Um, and we give discounts to our members to stay in the cabana. There are benefits for being in the group. We have an attorney, a doctor, a mechanic, um, a dentist. They're all Chilean and they all speak English. So you can get those answers really easily and honestly. They're going to give you a fair, worthy answer to your question. I don't get any kickbacks from any of our, our team, okay? I just get good service. So there are some limitations to renting the cabana and this other thing that we look at. <clears throat> In all honesty, we really like people to stay with us that we that we have a relationship with. It's not about we're just running a rental service per se, uh, because there's no kitchen in here, okay? And uh, there never has been. Um, and uh, so you would have to have your meals with us if you stayed here. So you're kind of basically being coming a part of our family for a little bit of time, which is actually is kind of neat. We've enjoyed that. We've had quite a few wonderful people stay with us. So uh, the other limitation is, is we'd like to, uh, the, the longest people usually stay with us and we prefer is two weeks because we have other people already on the schedule to come in. So. Anyhow, if you're interested in any of that and, or you have questions about I hope that answers them. Uh, I've got a few people that have emailed me saying, hey, rent me your cabana. I'm going to be there next month, next week, next whatever. And I don't do that anymore. Um, uh, it's, it's, just, it's just not a good mix. So if you email me and you say, hey, Jim, I want to rent your cabana, uh, I'm going to say, I'm sorry, I can't rent it to you. Uh, I'm reserving that for our, our members of our group. If you say, well, I'm, I'm interested in the group, then uh, I've already explained to you the process and you can you can pursue that and and uh, we'd love to have you come down and see us. It'd be nice. I know some people would say that YouTube's paying you. Well, last year YouTube paid me $100 and I did, I don't know how many videos, maybe 10, 12, 15, I don't know videos last year. Three, who knows. Uh, I don't get... I don't do the videos in YouTube for YouTube to pay me. I do them for you guys so you can know what's going on, what's life like in Chile. Maybe is this an option for me? Uh, I want my family to have a real life, whatever. Um, I want to live freer, cleaner. I want to be self-sufficient. I'm interested in homesteading. I, I want to see uh, how safe Chile is. Oh, all those, that's what that's what we're about. We're not so much about the YouTube thing. And so you know as well, I'm on Rumble. I'm also on Odyssey, I believe, yeah. And I'm also in Twitter, uh, although I dislike Twitter, but I'm there. Um, so if you wanna go look at my videos on Rumble, I highly recommend that you do. And I'd rather give money to Rumble than, than YouTube. And I don't make any money at all off of Rumble. I don't even know if I'm monetized there. Um, but YouTube has just been really nasty about the whole monetization thing. And it really, I, I'm all about being free. So, uh, 
anyhow, that's my update on the Cabana and how we're we're now only renting to our uh, we're going to try our best to only reserve that out for our members of our Chile expat family chat group. If you're interested in joining that group, there's a, a process. There's an interview. We talk to each other on the phone. It's not just email. Jim, don't email. I don't like email. In the Telegram group, in our Chile expat family chat group, we have an Chilean attorney, a Chilean mechanic, Chilean dentist, Chilean doctors. So we have all those people to answer your questions in English. Uh, things you're not going to find out anywhere else, okay? About the immigration process, about bringing guns, about all those things. So it really behooves you, if you're interested at all in moving to Chile, to join the group. Ciao from Chile Expat Family. Thank you for your time. And I really appreciate my my members of my chat group that make these videos through their donations and support possible. I'm looking forward to seeing those six families come down between now and December or January. So, yep. Thank you.